The Chatty Madam. A long time ago, there lived a married couple in a village in a northern country. The husband was called Ivan, and his wife was called Daisy. One day, Ivan was digging a hole in the forest. He was digging the hole to make a trap that would capture the foxes. That had been destroying his field of crops recently. Suddenly, the tip of his shovel had hit something hard in the ground. He dug it out and discovered that it was an old wooden box. Ivan broke the lock of the box using his shovel and opened it. Inside the box, there were lots of gold coins. Oh, wow! Three hundred, five hundred. No, there could be more. All right, I am going to take this back home. Ivan picked up the box. Then, no, I can't. I forgot the important thing. It was something to do with his wife Daisy. She is extremely chatty, so if I bring the box full of gold home, she will probably tell everyone. If that is the case, all the gold will be taken away by our greedy Palatine. Ivan contemplated the idea for a long time, then came up with an idea. Yes, I should go with this idea. Ivan took out a gold coin from the box and put it in his pocket. Then he buried the box with rest of gold coins. Back into the hole where he found it. <sighs> This should be fine. Hopefully, no one will find it. Well, let's go home. On the way home, Ivan walked down the path along the river. He went by the river to check the trap that he had set earlier. And found a fish caught on the trap. He put the fish into his bag, and went to the grassy field. I think I have left another trap somewhere around there. Oh, found it. There was a rabbit caught on the trap. After taking the rabbit off the trap. Ivan then hooked the fish back onto the trap for some reason. Then he returned to the river, and put a rabbit back into the trap where he had caught the fish. What in the world is Ivan trying to do? As soon as Ivan got home. He spoke to Daisy about the gold coins he found in the forest. See, take a look. This is the proof. He took out a gold coin from his pocket and gave it to her. It is, it is actually gold. Let's leave right now to get the rest of them. No need to rush. I hid it well, so there is no way someone is going to find it. 
So let's eat first. Please cook me a lot of pancakes. I don't have enough energy since I'm starving. Sure, I will cook them right away. Daisy quickly cooked lots of pancakes. Come on, eat them quickly. Don't rush me like that. Mmm, mmm, yum. As Ivan ate pancakes, he put several pancakes into the bag hid under the table. When Daisy wasn't looking at him, Ugh, I'm full now. Well, let's go then. Sure, I am already ready to leave. By the time the two got out of their house, it was very dark. Oh, maybe we should go check the traps in the grassy field. Ivan took Daisy to the grassy field with him. Hey, darling, what is happening? There is a fish caught on a rabbit trap. How rare! This is called mudfish, and they can swim in the soil. Is that so? That's a strange fish. Ivan put the fish into the bag. Later, the two came to the river on their way to the forest. Hey, darling, what is happening? There is a rabbit caught in a fish trap this time. This is water rabbit. He can run on the surface of water. Is that so? That's a strange rabbit. Ivan put the rabbit in his bag too. Eventually, the two had arrived at the forest where Ivan buried the gold coins. As Ivan led his way through the forest, he subtly took out pancakes in his bag and hooked them onto tree branches, making sure Daisy wasn't watching him. Hey, darling, what is this? They are pancakes on some trees. They are pancake trees, and they produce pancakes on trees instead of fruits. Well... Let me pick one to take it home. I see. That's a strange tree. Finally, the two dug out the box full of gold coins and took it back to home. Listen to me carefully, Daisy. Don't tell anyone about this. Of course. I will not tell anyone about it. Daisy promised Ivan that she would not speak about the gold coins to anyone. The next morning, Daisy was walking up to a well to draw water. However, she saw her neighbor friends chatting. Oh, hi, how are you? Good morning, Daisy. You look really happy today. Did something happen? It's a secret, so don't tell anyone. Yeah? Yeah? A gold. That's right, but don't tell anyone about it. Sure, I will keep your secret. Eventually, the story had spread to everyone, and the Palatine heard about it. Soon, the Palatine asked Ivan to meet him. Hey, Ivan, 
Is it true that you found gold coins in the forest? A. Gold. What are you talking about, sir? Don't fool around with me. Your wife had been telling the story to everyone. Oh, that must be a story that she made up. She is good at making up random stories. Hmm. Okay then. I will ask directly to your wife. Therefore, Daisy was called over to the Palatine. I heard that you too have found gold coins. Oh, why do you know about that? I knew it. Tell me more about it. Sure. Well, last night. Daisy started telling the story to the Palatine, how she found the gold coins. However, after hearing the story, he got very confused. Hey, Daisy. What are you talking about? A fish that can swim on the soil? And a rabbit that can run on the surface of water? Eh? You just asked me to recount the event from last night in depth. Oh, and also, there were strange trees that made pancakes. Ugh, stop the nonsense. Daisy, you may leave now. The Palatine was astounded by Daisy's story. When Daisy left the Palatine's house, there was Ivan waiting for her. How was it, Daisy? Um, I don't know. I was telling him about last night. Then suddenly, he told me to go home. Right, I see. I am so confused. Ah, I am hungry. Let's go home and have food. Yup, let's do that. The pair happily walked back to their house together.